it was a great challenge. It was a brand new organization, brand new concept. Prior to the arrival of the SFAB, uh, tactical advising really kind of stopped at the Afghan core level. The number one thing that the SFAB gets you that other constructs of advising doesn't get you is an organization that has no other purpose for its existence other than to be the best advisors possible to deliver the best uh, effects to your partnered security force. We go to work every day working with our, our partner forces, whether they be Army or police, trying to make them just a little better at what they're doing that day. And really where the SFAB is making an impact is out accompanying the uh, Afghan security forces on their missions. Said in the past, American forces were part of the operations. They were going out with the Afghan forces. And currently, they're not going out on operations. Uh, they're staying with the uh, command and control headquarters. But now we are together planning the mission, and we have the equipments and the techniques they were using in the past for the missions. Our soldiers or personnel, uh, they, they are using it in our headquarters. The advising piece is especially unique because you're pursuing their goals with them, but you're encouraging them to accomplish these things you know, on their own. So the interactions with our, our partners is uh, it's a special one. It's one that's based on trust. It's one that really, I think, uh, in, inspires them and shows them that we're, we're here with them, Bashana Bashana, shoulder to shoulder. You know, one of the, the big things with, with any job, but especially this job, is, is building relationships. I, I can't stress that enough. Uh, you know, positive relationships, sincere relationships, and, and just, you know, connecting to people on a, at a personal level. I think the, the big goal for, for us, it's always on our mind as, as advisors in the SFAB, is how do, we, how do we help them, how do we enable them so that any capabilities maybe gained during that period are going to be sustained after we leave. So our partnership uh, is very important and vital because without their support and without the technology they have, without the training, we will not be successful. So being in a unit that is built and dedicated to advising, it's not a sideshow. It's not something you do extra. So all the training that we focused on was about how do we make our partners better. So the skills you need to relate to your partner, to uh, negotiate with them when you get into a uh, dispute over how maybe something should be accomplished, uh, your empathy for the situation they find themselves in, some of the language, all of these things uh, make this organization more effective than any advising organization I've ever been a part of. Share with the rest of the radio guys. The SFAB is a permanent organization. It's got a permanent structure. It has a permanent chain of command, and with that that organizational you know framework, uh, it results in increased organizational effectiveness. We train from day one as a team. We deploy as a team. We'll go back. We'll we'll go home. We'll reset a little bit, and we'll deploy again as that same team. But I think the most important thing that we can do is do our job well here in Afghanistan. Uh, make people understand that this is a organization that delivers the effects that uh, our nation and our army expect out of it, and then leave a legacy to those who will come in our footsteps after us in this first SFAB. I'm so proud of our, of our soldiers that are, and families that are in this organization, and we have, we've done a lot very quickly, and, we, and we've done very well doing it. So I look backwards, and I, and I have great pride for everybody.